This week we're at the stunning Eris Coast Hotel Gisela to celebrate Home to May All Month. We'll be chatting to guests from America, the UK and indeed all around Ireland who came home to Mayo to enjoy a great weekend of festivities and to meet up with Irish country stars Daniel O'Donnell and Jimmy Buckley. Hey all, uh, if I can ask you first, uh, since you opened last November, about six months now you opened in that, how have things been going here? Absolutely fantastic. Um, we're every day trying to better the place, you know, we put up a new gazebo, we're going to get an outdoor TV there. Um, it's been great, staff's been great, and uh, bigger and better things to come. We've got a big conference room upstairs, we're going to get some surprising things coming in the future so you know yeah i believe there's going to be a phase two coming phase two indeed yeah yeah it's, it's great it's yeah. fantastic yeah, yeah. and, and um, john um the market where where you is your market for the hotel here how is it looking now back in the six months where does it come from so so the, the past six months has been very uh focused on the local community the west of ireland and you know the locals of ireland in general so the goal now is to focus more on international travel, just to, like I we said before, put Gisala on the map. And so at the end of the day, getting people to understand and get a feel for the lighthouse, Black Sod Bay, the hotel, that's our goal. And just to help out everyone here in the community. That's number one. And Michael, another great to me all the, for, for visitors here is the fishing. You had a hand in it. Did you bring your good wife out this morning for the fishing as well? I didn't, but she, she fed well this evening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's, a, it's another big tourism attraction, isn't it? The fishing oh, it's here. huge. I mean, the deep sea fishing out here is fantastic. You know, we've got the wild salmon down the road here and uh, the angling over here on the Elmore River. It's just, yeah. you know, it's world renowned. It's great. Yeah. And, you know, after, you know, People are just kind of getting back into themselves after this pandemic, you know, like people are getting more comfortable traveling again and, you know, no better place than this hidden gym down here, you know, it's, yeah. you know, yeah. like I always say, rural Ireland, that's best. Yeah. And when do you see the phase two now coming on stream and I, with the span, the conversation One, two. around that? So. Oh, yeah. uh, uh, straight away. We're, yeah. yeah, it's, yeah, no, no, yeah. holds barred actually, you know, and uh, yeah. the driving force behind it as well is there. Uh, you know, obviously the great staff we have and Deborah and my mum and that, you know, and they're just all the time trying to better the place. And that's that's our aim, you know, the food here is fantastic. We've just got great, mess, even from the show we've done in November, like we've got messages all around the world from Australia, friends of mine, Thailand, you know, um, England, Canada, you know, and it's just, it's just brilliant. Like the world we're living in now, it's, it's so easy to advertise stuff and uh, proud to advertise this place. Yeah, you know? it's a long-term strategy, isn't it? Long-term, you know, this is my heritage, this is my roots here, you know, and it's just, yeah. it's so yeah. great to be able to come back and create a bit of employment, you know? And you, you managed to get uh, a non-Mayo lady <laughs> as your good wife the here. Lady, you're Dominic. right about the lady part, for sure. <laughs> yeah, and uh, well, what's it like being married into the Mayo kind of oh, diaspora? I, I love it, I love it. You know, every time I come back here, I just feel like I'm at home. We got married here, and yes, and it yeah. just feels great to be back here. It's great. Yeah, it brings yeah. back happy memories yeah, for you. very much. Yeah, yeah very much yeah. so. And uh, are you happy with the guys that are really going on board with, with the project here? Oh, yeah, definitely. We, like... We're all, we just want to keep doing better, keep doing more, and just want to see it thrive and want to see community come around and just have somewhere to be, have somewhere to have their parties, christenings, weddings. It just, um, you know, just brings a lot of life to Gisela, and that's what we wanted. You've come all the way from California uh, to Gisela here. What's your connection with the area? Well, I came here 21 years ago, spent a couple of weeks in Belmullet with friends and so forth. I've known Michael now for a number of years, and he told me about this exciting adventure he was starting here. So I had to come for his big opening parties and so forth. So I'm very glad to be here. And are you very impressed with the hotel? I am absolutely blown away. It's beautiful. The rooms are great. Oh, the ambience. I love the bar, the food. <laughs> I've had a, just a great time, and this is really going to be a fun couple of days, I can tell you. <laughs> Very different from hotels in California. Um, yeah, somewhat, but not dramatically. Uh, but of course, you know, the Irish charm is something that we don't have in California. Uh, the people here are wonderful. Uh, when I was here 21 years ago, it was wonderful, and it's just more wonderful now. So I'm really enjoying myself. 
Yeah. And do you think this is the type of place Americans would come to? Oh, I think they, they would and should. Uh, when I get home, I'm gonna tell everybody they should come and visit. Uh, they should come to Ireland anyway, but this is a special part of Ireland. Yeah, a very uh, big weekend music-wise and really, Henry, it's our celebration of the Home to Mayo event, the month of May. And uh, we, we, we've put together a great collection of uh, musicians and artists. We have everything from trad musicians and um, Daniel O'Donnell has joined us, country, uh, great Jimmy Buckley is playing with us tonight and we even have a disco tomorrow night to, to finish it all off. So mm. all different genres and yeah, we're open six months now. It's been a very, very busy six months and um, very busy summer season ahead of us. And it has been fantastic. The time has absolutely flown and um, we are delighted with the amount of visitors we've had, uh, the feedback on everything from the food, which is very important, to the bedrooms and all that little detail and that extra little touch that we put in, it has really paid off because we have people coming back now for a second and third time and planning their holidays for next year. And we've had some lovely gatherings of families for christenings and anniversaries and we've had a number of weddings. People, couples that have travelled from New York and oh Melbourne God. to have their wedding here at the Eris Coast and in Eris. It's and just And you lovely. have an awful lot of guests. You're booked out for this weekend and you have a lot of visitors from all over the world staying this weekend. Yeah, completely booked out. The moment we announced the lineup, it yeah. has been just hectic. We have a cancellation list now, as long as you're armed, but um, it's it's great. We have people that have traveled from Idaho, California. We have a 92 year old lady who has traveled from Birmingham. She came over on the boat last night and uh, she wouldn't miss it for the world. And that same lady is coming back to us in September with a group of 54 um, of her friends. They're coming back to spend the week in Eris, in the Eris coast and they have a number of bands coming every night and uh, she's been doing it for years but this time she's coming to Eris and we can't wait to welcome them. I was landed in Birmingham in 48 and I went over on the Princess Maud. So many ago. years, yes many years. And you're very involved with the Irish community in Birmingham oh, aren't definitely, you? Oh definitely yes, yes, yeah. I bring a coach load of pensioners every year for the last 10 years to different counties. That would be their only way of making the journey and it's been wonderful. And we're coming here this year, God willing, in September. So what have you kind of program of events have you for the group coming over to Bell Mullis? And we're, well, we have bands every night, entertainment, quite a few of the very popular ones and uh, we go out every day to different places and of course Deborah will look after us very well regarding food and that sort of stuff yeah and are you impressed now with the hotel here for your guests i really am i think it's wonderful i think she's done a great job i think it's a wonderful place i like the mayo people they're very down to earth and very straightforward lovely uh, i come from county wicklow myself which I adore, but I have a soft spot for my own. all the way from Idaho. First time here in Ireland. Yeah, and what are your initial impressions? Uh, um, the people. Yeah. Lovely people. I've read a lot about Irish history. I have some Irish in me, the Madden family. Um, the people strike me more than anything, and the land is just beautiful. Absolutely mm -hmm. beautiful. This hotel's fantastic as well. 
And the quality of the hotel, how do you, how do you find it compared to other you hotels? You know, the hotel is absolutely fantastic. Um, first rate, uh, we had dinner last night, m amazing meal, had a lovely plate of cod. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so, yeah, and the, the hospitality is just off the charts, just yeah. perfect. Yeah. And what are your other plans now for your remainder of your stay here in Ireland? We're going to go tour the countryside, um, Galway, Kilkenny, Killarney, um, Dingle, and then back to Dublin. Lovely. Well, enjoy your holiday here. Thank you. I appreciate that. Aris and Belmullet is really the hidden mayo. It's the wild mayo. It has so much to offer in terms of its landscape, in terms of the outdoor offering, in terms of the cultural and heritage attractions. And it's great to have events like this where people come and visit, not alone to the experience the event, but the experience all that this area has to offer. And uh, yeah, what beautiful way to, to experience it with such fine summer weather like we're having here today. And, this weekend. All the happy with the way the month of May and uh, home to Mayo is gone for the month of May. Yeah, absolutely. I'd just like to acknowledge all of our event promoters, all of our communities that have organised festival and events. Without them, you know, this home to Mayo initiative couldn't have happened. So we were delighted and we're delighted with the response that is in terms of attracting people and in particular our diaspora back into the county. So, you know, it has been a hype of activity all month, all month. And what better way to finish up than being here in Eros and listening to I don't think all and Daniel O'Donnell um, entertaining us here. So no, it's been fantastic, a huge success. I'm absolutely delighted to welcome you here to Kisala today, to this fabulous facility that has been revamped and redone. You know, people say to me about informant, there was never a need to write and invite my old people home. They love coming home and they love coming home to Eris. They come in, the, in, in August, they come at Christmas. They're always coming home because this is where their heart is. The people might have left, but their heart stayed at home. That's the way it is with Mayo people anyway. But there's loads of other people here besides Mayo people today. They're from Manchester, they're from all over, all over Ireland. There was people from Galway, Donegal. We've seen them all today, Henry, and you must say it was a fantastic day here in Gisela as part of the Home to Mayo Festival. Marie, it's been a hectic six months since the opening of this hotel and you took up the job as general manager here. It has, Henry. Uh, it's been busy, um, but um, we've found our feet and um, thank God um, it's been good to us and um, we are getting on really, really well. Um, we're getting an awful lot of bookings in um, and now with this weekend, it's fantastic to be involved with the Home to Me Old weekend and our ex music extravaganza here the weekend. And I'm delighted to have our own, my own Daniel O'Donnell down from my own county in Donegal um, here today. So we've had a fantastic afternoon outside here with um, Daniel. Um, and I said, we've got a full house of residents and we have people staying with us from Idaho, California, San Francisco, parts of England um, and all through Ireland. Um, and we have a fantastic lineup for the evening. Um, we have another young lad from Donegal playing with us tonight. And I have Jimmy Buckley then opening the dance floor for us tonight. Yeah, it's this the is your first, first dance, isn't first, it? It's our first actual dance. It's mm. the first time that we've got the country music scene to come back to Gisela. Um, they were a wee bit apprehensive in the beginning. They didn't know was it going to be the way. And I said, look, if we don't try it, we're not going to know. So we're delighted, as I said, to have Daniel earlier Jimmy tonight, um, and then we have young Conor O'Donnell from Glorchira fame um, with us after the, for the late night dancing. And then we have another big lineup of a day tomorrow. Um, so we are delighted to um, have everybody here. Uh, very excited to be involved with Home to Me O. Um, and I know this, we're only six months open and it's all quite new to a lot of us, but um, even for next year, we already have our, our plans in place of some of the things that we would love to see here back in Gisala next year for the 2023 Home to Me O. Daniel, lovely to see you in Gisala. Of course, this is your first time in this part of the world. First time here in Gisala. Of course, we came to Palm Court many times Ochleam played in the Curra uh, on the way out from Belmullet out to, to Black Sod and many other places I played in Ballycroy. I remember Father Tuffy was there that time. And uh, so very, you know, well aware of this area. Driving out yesterday, I was, you know, thinking about all the times that we, we came and the roads weren't as good then as they are now. It would take you forever to come from Dublin. And when you get to Balna, you are still a long journey. But the first person I met today was Annie. 
that used to make the tea, Anna, Anna, Anna Riley. Those she made the, the tea and the palm coat. Yeah, I remember that, yes. And I was thinking, I wonder will Annie be here? So she was the first I met uh, down, down, down outside the hotel. Lovely to see her. And Daniel, what are your first impressions of this area and the hotel? Well, here? the hotel is out of this world. I mean, it's a great asset. I mean, I know it's been here, but this revamped version of this hotel, I mean, it's a great investment in the area. And you have to take your hat off to, you know, the, the people that went away and worked hard to make the money and felt they should invest it back in their home area. I mean, no more can you do. So I really do hope that they get great support from from the local uh, people, you know, to, to make it a, a success for them. And there's a Donegal connection here for you as well. Yes, Marie is, is uh, a neighbour of ours from home. She's in the managerial side here, and uh, she was the one who contacted me to see what I come and be part of this celebration, I suppose, for, for the, the, the hotel, that it's here and that it's an operation. And as part of the of the the celebration for the month here in Mayo too, Danny, had you time to relax and enjoy the scenery here, particularly the golden beaches they well, have here? Well, you know, I only got here last night late, and I haven't had a lot of time. But I was driving, you know, I was out going out to Belmullet today, and it's so similar to home. You know, the west coast is very, very uh, similar all the way along, and uh, I was just looking, John Staunton, myself, were driving out to the to the um, Irish wheelchair uh, building out there and, and Bell Mullet. And we were saying how much it's like Donegal and the beautiful beaches, unspoilt. You know, it has so much to offer. And there's a great golf course here too. I played the golf course a number of years ago. Uh, so, you know, this area has a lot to offer. You know, if you want, and I'm sure there's lots of fishing too in an area like this, there has to be uh, fishing. Uh, I'm sure there's somebody with boats that take people out on fishing trips. So there's a lot to do. Or if you just want to relax, and I'm uh, great for walking, you know, and, 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 and very, very quiet. You know, you wouldn't be bothered with cars beeping at you every, every 10 seconds. And finally, I know uh, a lot of your fans are here today to hear you sing. Are you ready to take to the stage to entertain the crowd here for this celebration of Home to Mayo this weekend here in Gisada? Always nice to be in Mayo and always nice to get the chance to sing. I mean, we've had a great, you know, we have great support down through the years or have had great support down through the years. You know, as I said, we, we started out, you know, and we played in lots of places, Balna and Molly Maguire's used to be the Georgian, um, played in, in um, up there on the hilltop, up in Collins, just on the way in from Sligo. And many other places, you know, Ballyhonus, of course, and the Midas Club was fantastic, and the, the Beaten Path, we used to have great nights there. But e out here too, you know, we played in Glenamoy, Healy's, I think, was the family that was in Glenamoy, and so good memories of, of singing out here. Well, I hope it won't be too long till you're back in New York again. Daniel. Please God. She wears my ring and tells her friends she's going to marry me. Best of all, she tells them all she's happy as can be. Oh, lucky me. Well, I don't know what she done to me. There's nothing else my eyes can see but a pretty little girl from Oma in the county of Tyrone. Oh, play a joint. Oh, was it long joint? I was 60 in December, and it still doesn't make a bit of difference. T'was down in the south in old Tremor, I recall a yellow dress she wore as she strolled along the shore there, all alone. I guess it was my lucky day, she came there on a holiday, my pretty little girl from Oma. In the county of Tyrone She wears my ring and tells her friends She's going to marry me Best of all, she tells them all She's happy as can be Oh, lucky me Well, I don't know what she done to me There's nothing else my eyes can see But a pretty little girl from Oma 
in the county of Tyrone. My pretty little girl from Oma in the county of Tyrone. First appearance here, uh, Henry, I've been out here years ago in Bangor Eris and, and Bella Mullet, of course, but in this beautiful uh, hotel, what a lovely, lovely, uh, the Eris Coast Hotel, fantastic day to be here, brought the good weather with me and it was still here when I came here, so I'm delighted to be part of the of the show today and see, see such a buzzer with people around, of course, all taking photos with Daniel over there and it's great to see Daniel over here as well, enjoying the, the, the great Mayo hospitality. And a fabulous ballroom to play in as well, isn't it? Lovely, lovely room in there. In fact, the whole hotel is just a, it's a beautiful hotel, lovely furnishings, great hospitality from Marie, the manager there, and, uh, you know, all involved. It's, it's lovely. It really is a nice place. And I met the, the, two, the two owners over there. I think Michael is a, is a local man, I believe, there yes. as well. And, and John, John Joyce. And John Joyce, yeah. So nice to meet the lads. It's great to see him come back home and invest in a few bob back at home in, in a nice place like this, you know? I suppose great to be back on the scene again after the lockdown and a terrible time, two years and that. Yeah. Uh, things back, get back to normal now, Jimmy. Things are going really, really great. I think as the year progresses, Charlie, or, uh, Henry, the year is getting, you know, it's getting busier and busier all the time. Um, you know, more people are beginning to venture out than, you know, originally when, when the... Uh, when the pandemic ended, if you like, you know, people were slow enough about coming out. But I think they're they're shaking off the shackles now as we get into the better weather and there's more confidence out there and people are, are, are you know, people are more confident in themselves and um, you know, we're delighted to see it because, you know, the venues are the people are back dancing again. I did it you know, we're finishing up the tour of the three amigos, which has been hugely successful. And we have, you know, various country music weekends going on around the country that are going really, really well. And of course our, our Spain trip uh, in the crack on the costa in October is completely sold out so things couldn't be better after two very difficult years uh, uh, You met Henry. Daniel of course when you arrived there he was giving you a bit of slag and taking him off there in your show yeah, as yeah, well yeah. <laughs> uh, Look Daniel and I have been great friends for many years he's so good to all the artists to me and to all the other mm -hmm. singers and you know how he gives of his time to everybody just to he is, he's, he's, he's the actual, he's the true detail. That's the way he is. He's a, he's a nice, very, very nice man. You know, he'd stand there for hours talking to people and, you know, he's a great crack as well. I get, get on great with him, a great respect for the man, you know. So looking forward to all the Belmondas and Mayo people coming dancing oh, tonight. Oh, sure, look, can't wait. To, uh, well, I'll tell you one thing. The Mayo people are some of the best dancers in the world, so we better be in tune for them tonight. <laughs> nice to meet you. Thanks for Thank joining you. us. Thank you, Henry. Thanks very much. Bye.